Hey guys, Mark here. And before I say anything else, I wanna give a huge thanks to each and every single one of you. We finally hit 10,000 subscribers, which is super exciting for me because I've been doing this for, what, two years now or something like that. And uh, to hit this point is kind of like a milestone, kind of like a bit of a hurdle to get over. So uh, I'm super excited. I got some really cool things coming up on the channel. So stay tuned for that. But a few days ago on my community channel, I actually sent out a request for some questions to do a sort of Q&A style video. And you guys came up with some interesting questions that I will answer in just a sec. But first, I want to give you guys a little piece of news uh, that it's sort of been cooking up for a little while for me. I'm actually moving out of this place very soon into a new place. Um, and I'm super excited about that. But in order to do that I need to take about three weeks off of YouTube so if you don't see anything from me in the next you know two to three weeks that's the reason why I'm moving into a new studio and a new house um, but I need a little bit of time to get reoriented so that I can come back even stronger on YouTube so I will be going radio silent for a little while all right so let's get into the questions now first of all I apologize up front about rambling in this video because this video is not scripted at all I'm just gonna answer the questions as I read them but might be more enjoyable that way who knows Anyway, so first question. First question is from Tech with Brett, and uh, Brett's actually a friend of mine. He's another YouTuber, he's another tech YouTuber, and he's a great YouTuber, so you should check him out. But he says, when did you first start making videos? On YouTube, I started about a year and, well, about two years. Um, and that was sort of a test. I wasn't even really thinking about getting into YouTube at that time. I just had a really cool Android radio that I really wanted to show off. So I made that video and I was like, well, that's actually kind of fun. It, it's a bit creative. It um, gets me excited a little bit. You know, maybe I should keep doing this sort of thing. So then a couple of months later, I uploaded another video. And then about a month after that, I think I started to take it a little bit seriously and I started uploading every week. So it's really been about a year and 10 months since I really started making YouTube videos. But you know, I've been doing, you know, narrative cinematography work and corporate work and stuff like that in the field for, I wanna say about seven or eight years now. So, you know, I started on YouTube about two years ago, but I've been doing a lot more cinematography work for a lot longer than that. Andy Roo 42 asks, was it the excitement of new tech that led you here or one thing to another sort of situation? I think it was a bit of both, honestly. I've had a really big interest in technology for as long as I can remember. I've always loved tech. You know, I've been building computers for a long time. But that said, the YouTube thing, like I said in the last answer, was a one thing led to another sort of situation. So I think it's a bit of both. Milton Danielson says, what's your future plan with the channel? Some more tech hardware oriented videos or nah? I kind of go with the flow. It's just wherever my interest is at the current time because I can't afford to buy a bunch of new tech just because it's new tech. I sort of have to have an interest in it and I sort of have to be able to use it. So the reason I haven't been building new computers like crazy is just because that's crazy expensive and I have no real need for you know, 10 different computers. But I will be building a VR based system off of the Ryzen 3000 chips in the future. So that is coming up for sure. But there's also gonna be a lot of consumer electronics sort of videos in the future as well. Why haven't you made a lava lamp review yet? Greg Niff says, where is some place that you would love to travel to? I'm interested because I'll be on vacation soon and I wanna travel somewhere on the budget. Uh, that's a big open-ended question because the world is big. I really want to go to Japan at some point. I think the culture is really interesting. I think the people are really interesting. I think there's a lot of beautiful places in Japan and I would love to experience Japan. Um, that's not in the cards for me at the moment because I have no money to travel because I'm spending it all on tech stuff. But uh, I really would love to go to Japan. Alex says, ice caps are growlers. Um, the ice caps are gone, but the Winnipeg Jets are one of my favorite NHL teams. So I'm still going to say ice caps even though the growlers are awesome and they just won. Do you think that the iPhone 8 will be worth buying in 2020? iPhones are really costly in India. In terms of raw performance, the iPhone 8 is still a very well-performing iPhone. I mean, it's got an A11 Bionic in it, so it's still quite a snappy little phone. Um, personally, I am not a fan of the display on the iPhone 8, and I think the home button Touch ID is okay, but Face ID for me is actually better. I prefer Face ID, so. I mean, to me, yes, the iPhone is worth it if you can get it for a cheap enough price, but I still am partial to the 10. I think the 10 is the better phone. But that being said, if you can get it for a much cheaper price than you can get the 10 in India, I think the iPhone 8 will still work very well for you in the future. Have you tried the WF-1000 XM3s? Uh, no, I haven't, but they are on my radar. They do look really cool. If you guys don't know, that's the um, earbud version, more or less, of the WH-1000 XM3s, the noise-canceling headphones I tried out. Um, they do look really interesting. They did just come out, so I haven't had my hands on them, but I would definitely like to look at them in the future. 
What were the problems you faced while starting the channel and what kept you motivated to face those problems? That's a good one. Um, the challenges when I first started was, A, didn't have any money to buy any tech, so I was really just reviewing what I had at the present time. And then the second one was just staying motivated through not having much of a following on YouTube. You really have to love what you're doing to be on YouTube. And the reason I say that is because so many people start on YouTube and they've got this idea and they think they'll be able to do it really well. And some people do. But what they're not anticipating is YouTube is not a sprint, it's a marathon. You can't just go on YouTube and expect to do things really, really well and then all of a sudden get millions of followers. That doesn't happen on YouTube. It's a very, very small, gradual gain that could snowball over time if you're doing really well or if your videos are really good. Um, but more often than not, it tends to be a really, really slow climb. So you really need to keep yourself motivated and the way to do that is to love what you're doing. I genuinely enjoy making these videos. Like I might spend, oh, I don't know, I, I spend 40 hours a week at my full-time job, but then I might come home and spend another 20 or 30 hours a week on YouTube videos. And to work that much during a week, you really need to love what you're doing. And I genuinely do. So that's why I'm here still doing this because even though I might have only gotten, you know, 50 to 100 subscribers a month in the first couple of years, I loved what I did. So it didn't matter to me that I wasn't getting much of a following. So that's what you need to do in order to keep yourself motivated. You need to make the videos, of course, and make them to the best of your ability, but you need to love doing it in the process. So that's about it for the questions I was asked. I really appreciate you guys leaving those questions in a community post. And if you missed that community post and you do want a question answered from me, uh, leave it down in the comment down below and I will try and get back to you as quick as I can. And once again, guys, I won't be making videos for the next two to three weeks, depending on how long it takes me to move into a studio. It could be earlier, it could be even later than that. Um, but I really appreciate your patience. So once again, thank you so much for the 10,000 subscribers. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm really excited to come back in two to three weeks to give you guys some great new content. So if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more content in the future. And as always, have a great day.